Welcome to another episode of How to Get Started in IT. I'm Anthony Sequera, and today I'm going to share with you my six top soft skill areas that I think every IT professional should consider possessing. So in today's episode, we're going to talk about soft skills, specifically six that I really think that IT professionals should possess. Now, before we get started here, let me emphasize to you that these are skills, right? So that means if you have lacking in any of these six areas that I'm going to share with you, don't stress. There's things you can do about it, and we're going to cover those in this episode. Let's go through what I think are six key areas. And a lot of these areas, unfortunately, aren't all that second nature to those of us that are super excited about information technology. Well, I'm sure you won't be surprised. Number one is communication. It's certainly near and dear to my heart since most of what I do in IT is communicate. But this is one that is really interesting because we desperately need to improve our communication skills. And notice I said we, and I really do mean it. I, all of us need to improve our communication skills. There are going to be resources out there to help us when it comes to this communication area. What you need to do is you need to make it a priority. Make it a priority to actually work on these things so that you can improve them. Something else in the area of communication that I have always struggled with is stopping to listen. Yeah, listening is a hugely important part of communication. For those of you that know me and know my work, you're probably not surprised to learn that I'm a bit of a talker. So for me, it's not second nature to shut up and listen. And that can be really, really important. In fact, one of my favorite things to do in corporate meetings is look around and study those. And you can always tell the ones that aren't listening that are actually preparing what they're going to say while the speaker is speaking. So these are techniques that we can learn to guard against and they'll you know, really take us a long way. Something else uh, that I want to emphasize to you is coming up with clever ways to practice. One of the things that has was helping me a lot with online presentations was just a little trick about presenting to myself in a mirror. Tricks like that can go a long way and you can find those tips readily available thanks to Google. So let's talk about number two. This one is really near and dear to my heart as well. It's professionalism. It is, I think, you know, right away we think attire, right? How you're dressed. Here's my tip on that one. I've found that it's really less embarrassing and less problematic to be overdressed than underdressed. That is for sure. But IT Pro TV is a great example. So I was coming up here as a new employee for the first time. And of course, one of my questions was, what is the dress like at the office? So don't guess, find out. So I found out that it was a business casual work environment. And then, you know, if I'm going to make a mistake, it'll be to go one tick above that. You don't want to be the underdressed one at the occasion. And you know, I'm by no means an expert in this area. Uh, my wife is thrilled whenever I wear something without a sports logo on it. But uh, this is another area where you can get great information online. And here at IT Pro TV, we've also got some great training I'm going to tell you about here at the end. Something else that I think is important in the area of professionalism, and this can be tough for us in the IT space, it's to try and minimize the complaining. I know, I know, it's easy to complain. We have to deal with some of the craziest stuff. We have to deal with ridiculous work hours. We have to deal with individuals at their worst when their technology that they don't understand isn't working. But we should try and minimize the amount of complaining that we do because it's just not professional. 
You know, high-end performers in any field tend to be doers, not like complain about doing doers, doers, do, doing, you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, this is a good one I love in the professionalism area. Just try and have some manners. Yeah, manners go a really long way. Please. Thank you. Holding the door for someone at the workplace can go a real long way, especially these days where there seems to be less of an emphasis on manners. Oh my God, I'm so sorry for yelling. Let's move to the third, and it's one of my favorites. It's empathy. I remember my first job in IT. It was a help desk position. And on the first day in my help test job, I noticed this individual that I had to work next to, we'll call him Toby, every single time there'd be a call, I would hear this individual making fun of that caller. Not only was he not sympathetic to the plight of his customers, ultimately the people that were paying his paycheck, not only was he not sympathetic to them, but he was mocking them. Just a total lack of empathy. Not once doing what I recommend in this area, and that is putting himself in the other person's shoes. Please try and take time to do that. If you are dealing with some type of a conflict with someone, just go to a quiet place, eyes closed, and reflect for a moment on what it's like from their perspective. Oftentimes, you're gonna arrive at, oh, yeah, wow. That makes sense. I can totally see why they're upset. Fourth, oh, this one I just love because I don't love it. It's collaboration. Me, like many people that are super addicted to technology, I am not the big, let's all work together on this as a team. I am one of those individuals that's like, give me my stuff to do and I'll be in a quiet place getting it done. So I am not this big rah-rah teamwork person. It's just not me. I remember in high school, in college, and, and even just some like professional workshops and stuff that I have done in my time on the earth, anytime they say, okay, we're gonna get into groups, I'm just like, oh my gosh, not the group thing. But just like any of these soft skills that we're discussing today, there are ways to get great at it. And one big tip I'm gonna give you in this area is just do a little self-introspection. That's the dumbest face ever, I don't know. Just do some self-reflection and figure out what your strengths are. What can you best bring to the team? Maybe you're hyper-organized and you love to take notes. Okay, well, just you know, express to everyone, look, uh, I'd be great at being like the, you know, note taker here, being the secretary, if you will, of this whole activity. Uh, maybe you're a leader. You're just a born leader. <laughs> That's kind of rare in the IT space. We tend to, again, not even want to work in the group to begin with. So just figure out exactly what your strengths are and try and bring those to the equation. Number five is emotional intelligence. And this one is big. This can be tough for us IT folks. We tend not to sleep. We tend not to eat right. We tend to not exercise. So we have all this working against us when it comes to us understanding and controlling our emotions. So just absolutely do self introspection and catch stuff like that. Oh, wow. I'm, you know, one of those people that needs to get this much sleep or needs to eat this often in the day or I'm going to lose my cool. Recognize those patterns in your behavior and become way more self-aware about what triggers you. And we all know as IT people, there's a lot that could trigger us. Blue screen of death. No. Well, let's take a look at number six. I got to admit, I got to brag a little bit here. I am pretty good at this one. It's time management. This, this is seriously a soft skill that we as IT folk, we really need to give some attention because what will happen is we end up down a rabbit hole at any potential turn. I'll give you a quick example. 
if you're like me, a lot of IT, a lot of us in IT, we just can't wait to learn that next great technology. So I'll turn to Amazon Web Services and I'll start playing with the machine learning mechanisms in there. And the next thing you know, seven hours have elapsed on a Tuesday. And I was supposed to get all of this important stuff done for IT Pro TV. And here I am playing with machine learning. I'm not teaching machine learning here yet. Uh, you know, what am I doing? Oh my goodness. So as IT individuals that really can get wrapped up in things that take a lot of time, we got to be careful about this one. We got to make a schedule. We got to prioritize that schedule and we got to stick to it. Well, I hope you enjoyed the six that are near and dear to my heart when it comes to soft skills. We IT professionals often emphasize stuff like got to learn Azure, got to learn this, got to learn that, got to be good at this config, got to be good at this coding technique. And we're forgetting about these critical soft skills that can make the difference between having our careers soar or having our careers just kind of float along. There is a great course at IT Pro TV. I was checking it out this morning. I want you to check it out as soon as possible. It is on professional growth. And this course is going to break it down category by category for you on just the some of the areas that we've talked about and some that I didn't even think about before checking out this course like negotiating in the workplace and really cool topics like that. So use the link below, check out that incredible professional growth course at IT Pro TV. Do you have any tips for us in the area of soft skills that I didn't cover? Do you have some that are near and dear to your heart? Please let us know in the comments area below so you don't miss any of these getting started in IT shows that we are putting together for you. Remember, we'll have a new show for you every Saturday to check out. Well, my name is Anthony Sequeira with IT Pro TV, and we will see you in our next episode of How to Get Started in IT.